Family is remembering the 32 year old mother who was killed last weekend in a wrong way crash. She was everything to us, you know, her daughter, her and her daughter were best friends and she was my, my best friend for over 10 years, you know, and uh, she did everything, everything for us. Yanira Rodriguez was driving on the 15 with her 13 year old daughter when their car was hit head on by a suspected drunk driver. Her daughter did survive. NBC7's Dave Summers spoke with Rodriguez's boyfriend about her life and her passion for social work. Yanira Rodriguez is described by her boyfriend of more than a decade as a go-getter, inspiring, and a giver. I'm not having her around all of a sudden. It's, 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 it's been in this pretty hard. I just find myself looking at the Google map trying to figure out what happened, you know. And I, I don't know, you know, I don't know why, 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 why it happened to her. Juan struggles with his own grief while trying to console Yanira's 13-year-old daughter, Genevieve. She survived the accident but suffered several injuries. She's still healing. You know, she's had stitches on her lip and uh, she's, her body's bruised. The accident happened Sunday morning around 1.30. Yanira and her daughter were traveling southbound on the 15. And right about here, just south of the Arrow Drive exit, they were hit head-on by a white Infiniti SUV. Behind the wheel was 25-year-old James Cox of La Mesa. He was arrested pending charges of DUI in gross vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> Despite life-saving efforts by first responders who had to cut Rodriguez from her car with a saw in the jaws of life, Yanira could not be saved. Genevieve described the accident to Juan. She says that right before that they were singing Taylor Swift songs, you know, happy and uh, all of a sudden, they saw lights coming her way. Her mom screamed and, and swerved. And then after that, she kind of blacked out. Juan says Rodriguez earned a number of associate's degrees. They each received one from Mesa College in this ceremony. Yanira Rodriguez. Yanira recently completed her bachelor's degree in business and was preparing for grad school before the accident. Juan says her passion was social work. Her job was helping underprivileged kids get their proper support. Always taking care of people, always buying stuff for people. Like, she just cared so much about everybody, you know? Uh, especially her daughter, of course, you know what I mean? She, was, she, just, she just went above and beyond for everybody. Yanira's gift was her thoughtfulness, a rare quality that will be sorely missed. Dave Summers, NBC7. A CHP spokesman tells NBC7 the suspect made bail and was released from jail. He's scheduled for his first court appearance next month. So